What is good everyone, it is Spill here and welcome to the NBA 2K Lab channel. In this video, we'll be looking at my offense heavy point build and if you're looking for a point guard who can dunk at will and still score at all three levels effectively, this build might be for you. Now this build has a little defense, but if you're looking for a defensive build, this definitely isn't it. I suggest you check out my defensive menace video in that case. But if you're playing 5v5 modes, this offensive heavy build will do wonders for you. I've loved high dunk builds for a while now and with the way the meter is this year, having a high dunk rating can give you a lot of green meters in the right situations. Using the meter off body contact and hip rides will almost get you a contact dunk or blow by dunk every time. And if you have a clear lane to the hoop but there's defenders in your peripheral, it doesn't even matter because the dunk meter only takes into account your path to the basket at that point. Now a quick tip about the dunk meter is that the meter size will not change the way layups do in real time. Once you start your dunk meter, that same green window size will be locked until you finish your dunk. Now dunks did get nerfed this year and it seems there's a little more of a skill gap for dunking in 2k24, but once you learn how to use them, they are still highly effective. This build has extremely high dunking but it's it's also an effective three level score with plenty of shooting and shout out to Joe Nose because this build is similar to his Michael Jordan build but it does have some key differences that make it very unique to the way I like to play. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting with finishing, we have of course a 94 driving dunk and I love this threshold because not only do you get elite contacts off too, but you also get Hall of Fame slithery which is going to help when cutting through the lane and avoiding defenders. With this 94 dunk, you want to make sure you equip packages like the one foot side double clutches and you can also try the uber athletic tomahawks off one and the Michael Jordan package if you like. I spoke with Laker fan about these packages and these are insanely quick and effective. He also has a video on all the best dunk packages for every rating so if you're interested in that, I recommend you go check out that video. But I didn't touch anything else in finishing and it would have been nice to to get a 40 or 45 standing dunk but i personally couldn't afford it but moving on to shooting we went with an 88 mid-range to unlock gold green machine and good jump shot bases and then we also went with an 86 three-point rating for silver agent three and gold corner specialist to help me fade out the corner for this build i wanted to be able to effectively hit my mid-range and three-point shots but didn't want to go overkill so i settled on these ratings i would have liked to have gotten a 90 mid-range at least for gold dead eyes those results looked pretty insane when we tested it as make percentage went up as contest percentages dropped pretty drastically when going from the silver to gold level but then again, for what I wanted, I couldn't exactly afford it, but keep these things in mind if you do decide to recreate this build to make it unique for your own play style. Then lastly, we have a 76 free throw rating, which actually is pretty garbage, and if you want to consistently hit your free throws, I suggest at least going for an 80 to 85 rating. As we get to playmaking, you can see we have that 89 pass accuracy for the Halliburton pass style, which also comes with gold relay passer and gold dimer, so it's nice to have as a playmaking point guard. I'm looking to dish and get crisp clean passes out more often than not, so I went higher on the pass act. Most people will target mid 70s, it's a solid middle ground but it's really up to how you want to play. Then we went with a 92 ball handle for SIGs and badges, which is a must for almost every PG at this height or shorter, and then an 83 speed with ball for gold speed booster. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you were looking for a defensive build, this isn't it, but we do have a little defense to hold our own. I upgraded perimeter defense to a 72, which unlocks bronze challenger and then bronze fast speed. I think both of these badges are worth targeting and it's not much of an investment at all, but it will help you stay in front of the ball more than not having any of these badges. Now, of course, you can get abused in the paint under the rim, but I've also had many times where as long as I'm positioned correctly with my hands up, I can still get some stops under the rim. And it's not likely I'll be under the rim often, so I didn't want to invest too much in this. Then we have our physicals, but the most important part here is that you don't forget you'll need an 82 vert for the elite contacts. An 86 speed is solid for gold speed booster, and then the 73 acceleration will get you silver blow by, and then a 96 stamina for gold handles for days, which is also a must if you plan to be the primary ball handler. And then there you have it, my 6-6 offense heavy point. It's more of a niche build because I know a lot of people will prefer having defense on their build, as do I, but this build is extremely fun to use once you learn the dunk meter. Now, I appreciate everyone for watching. It's Ben Spill, and I'm out. Later.